again? I got in just th just at 3 o'clock. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So how are you feeling right now? Kind of a whirlwind, I'm sure. Uh, very energetic, you know, butterflies all over my stomach right now. First training camp, it feels amazing. What's one or two major items, maybe not related to um, you know the field specifically, but in terms of being a pro, that you want to make sure you check off? Uh, I just want to make sure, you know, I know AD's here. Uh, I want to make sure to get as much knowledge from him as possible. Uh, as you know, I mean, one of the greatest of all time. So that's definitely one of the things I want to get checked out. Definitely, uh, you know, just want to make sure I have a role in here, you know, because, you know, 53-man roster, right? I think there's like 90 people here. So far, I just want to make sure that I'm in that 53-man roster, whatever rotation I'm in, uh, make sure to help the team win two Super Bowls. Since you finished OTAs, what kind of a workout program have you been on? I've just been working on arms uh, every other day and then uh, legs the next day. Uh, I have like two days off, you know, but uh, just trying to get ready, prepare for training camp. Do you work out with anyone or? Uh, I have a guy out in Greenville, so I was at home, uh, Greenville, Texas, uh, Zach Nichols, a uh, great guy. i uh, been working out with him, trying to get me ready for the, for this training camp. 17 games is a step up even for veterans and yeah. for a college player. I know. That. Oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> last year we played nine games and then you know bowl game and then yeah, it's it's a lot different than uh, college, uh, but I'm I'm prepared for it. Can you describe the uh, competitiveness, the nature of this level that you're about to enter? Maybe the most competitive moments of your life. Oh yeah, uh, much faster. People are much stronger, much leaner. You could tell that you know off these offensive linemen they they don't play about their they don't play about their food. Uh, they a lot of length. They're big, but they're like they're skinny at the same time. But like strong. But I mean, you know, I'm I'm ready for this. You know, whatever whatever happens happens, and I can't wait for it to happen. How do you keep yourself grounded? Kind of keep yourself calm, not pressed too much, but knowing you have to prove yourself within the span of two to three weeks. Just know that keep everything positive. Uh, I listen to my mom every day. You know, she tells me to stay positive. You know, I had to injure my pec, and she told me to stay positive. I always want to listen to her. She's my main focus. You know, she's she is my why. So, that's why. Who did you get close with during OTAs? I got close with Bobby Brown, Jorah Savan Savanic, uh, you know, D lineman. And then I had an old teammate from Northwestern, Ben Skoranek. Um, You know, that's my boy. We've been going out to eat a uh, couple past couple of days. But uh, mostly everybody, you know, um, but mostly, you know, D lineman got to stay together. What was it like being thrown into that experience in such a short amount of time? Unbelievable. Because, uh, you know, it just it just changed at, at that point in time, you know, going from college to the NFL. I mean, you're talking about grown men here. Uh, but, I mean, it's, it's wonderful, you know. It's a dream come true, actually. What have they discussed with you in terms of how they want to develop you? I know you do have a lot of versatility. You could flip out to the outside if you yes. need to. Yes. Uh, what has Hen Eric Hendrickson talked to you about that? So he just talked to me about, you know, staying at, staying wherever, like, because I'm, I'm a light, lighter guy, so they want me to move inside and outside uh, most of the time. But, I mean, anywhere. How do you um, add power and explosiveness without losing that speed that they will want from you when you switch out? I definitely uh, learn from AD because uh, he's a mixture of both. Uh, but uh, definitely see what, how he does everything and uh, learn some tips from him. When you were younger, I mean, I guess I, the way I would ask this is, like, what would you tell your younger self if you knew back then that you would be playing alongside Aaron Donald one day? Well, definitely uh, change up my diet, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Always ate Chick-fil-A, you know. <laughs> uh, very unhealthy back then, but, you know, uh, stay grounded, of course. Uh, change diet, basically, uh, and just... Just have that confidence, you know. Yeah. Do you wear that shirt because you're playing Sunday night football against the Bears? Or? No, I'm, I'm from Chicago, you know, Northwestern. <laughs> I mean, no, but uh, got this uh, in Texas. I saw, you know, Chicago. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it just reminded me back when I was back in school. What, if, what would it mean for you to play um, that first game, making the team first of all, uh, but playing the first game again? That would be one of my one of my goals checked off. Uh, it would feel amazing because, you know, it would not only make me proud, but my mom proud, and that's that's a high priority of mine. Mom will be in the stands? Definitely, most definitely. Yeah. Have you ever spent any time here in California? I, I was actually born here. I was born in the San Francisco area, okay. but for like six months, and then I moved out to Texas, so not really that much. 
What are your thoughts first off? Uh, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, the only thing I do not like is the prices on gas. But I mean, <laughs> uh, other, other than that, you know, California is beautiful. I would love to, you know, stay here long term. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.